will be our very own assistant principal, Mr. Culpepper. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red the bombs bursting in That our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land of That was amazing. Once the color guard exit, then we, you may be seated. Okay, you may be seated. But you guys were standing for so long, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, I would like to introduce our visiting guests and school administrators to my right. So first, representing the Washoe County School Board, we have President Dr. Angela Taylor, Trustees Jacqueline Calvert, Trustees Diane Nicolette, and Trustee and Clerk Ellen Minetto. <laughs> representing the Washoe County School District Leadership Team, we have Superintendent Dr. Kristen McNeil, Deputy Superintendent Deborah Firesdorf, Area 3 Superintendent for Galena High School, Joe Ernst, Area 5 Superintendent Jennifer Van Tress, Chief Operating Officer Pete Etchart, Etchart, sorry, my bad, Chief Financial Officer Mark Mathers, Chief Information Officer Chris Turner. And representing our Galena administrative team, we have Principal Mr. Richard Johnson Salter. And our assistant principals, Ms. Teresa Burroughs, Mr. Marcus Culpepper, and Mr. Bradley Bodine. And finally, Principal of Libby Booth Elementary and proud mother of a Galena 2021 graduate, Ms. Megan Waugh. Give them all a round of applause, please. Well, everyone, welcome to Galena High School, and we hope you all enjoy your time here with us this morning. In many ways, this is the first graduation of its kind in Galena history, and I'm excited to be able to share it with all of you. When I think of the Galena class of 2021, I think of excellence. Some may say that our class is the class that went through a global pandemic, but that will not define us. Our class has positively impacted every aspect of Galena High School, from drama club to basketball. Our class has accumulated $3.2 million in scholarship money and will be attending 54 different universities. <laughs> Additionally, 
Chief Molina High School graduates are also the recipients of the Ben Hayes Memorial Scholarship. And finally, we have also won 17 regional titles and eight state titles. I would like to compare our high school experience to a 400 meter dash, which is one lap around the track. Some of you may have run a 400 meter dash, and that is because you do not fear death. In track and field, a 400 meter dash is an incredibly difficult race because it is considered a sprint, but it takes a tremendous amount of endurance. As you approach the starting blocks, sometimes you're full of anticipation, adrenaline, ready to crush the competition. Sometimes you're anxious and scared about what lies ahead. This is what it felt like entering Galena High School as a freshman. Mr. <laughs> then, a few seconds later, the gun flares and we're off. Mr. Edwards is in the main hall yelling at all the freshmen to get to class. The first 100 meters sets the pace for the rest of the race. You are creating momentum and getting adjusted to the feeling of the track under your spikes. Freshman year signing up for clubs, programs, meeting new friends, and setting up your high school experience. Once you hit the 200 meter mark, you're cruising. You set your pace and you're gracefully coming around the second curve of sophomore year. Our class was not getting the hang of high school, starting AP classes, such as Miss Compton's AP Human course. <laughs> and instead of sitting around during assemblies, we challenged the seniors. We can't hear you! <laughs> the 300 meter mark is when the pain settles in. As you turn the corner, you either feel the burn or you don't feel anything below your waist. Junior year was the start of a rigorous class schedule, ACT prep, gearing up for senior year, and the biggest roadblock of them all, a global pandemic. Once you hit the 300 meter mark, it is either give up or persevere. Just like in a 400 meter dash, our class was placed with the same decision, give up or push forward. We chose to have hope. We chose to be excellent. We completed our AP tests, took our final ACTs, and turned the corner for our final stretch of high school. This is the hardest length of the entire race, the last 100 meters. You have no feeling in your legs and you can hardly breathe, but you're almost there. You can see the finish line. The last 100 meters is the most rewarding part of the entire race. This whole senior year we were struggling, not only with a really bad case of senioritis, but the restraints that came with COVID-19. Masks, hand sanitizer, social distancing, quarantine, and the list could go on. Because of our pursuit of excellence, however, we are here at the finish line. We made it, graduates. All the hard work was worth it. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'd like to thank the coaches, teachers, administrators, and especially the parents for cheering us on. Give them a round of applause, graduates. Hello, classmates, I'm excited to tell you we get to run another race, whether it's a marathon or a sprint. You're all warmed up and ready to take on the race that lies ahead. This race will be difficult, but you've already ran it before. You know that you can get through it. As your teammate running this race with you, let's make sure that through it all, we always keep our standard of excellence. Thank you. Now, I am pleased to introduce Yo-Yo Wang, our class of 2021 salutatorian. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Galena's class of 2021 graduation. On behalf of the teachers, students, and staff, I would like to thank everyone for joining me on this momentous occasion we've all been working so hard towards. We all know high school prepares us for the next step in life, and to graduate is already a great accomplishment. However, high school also includes unique first-time experiences found nowhere else. One of these memorable moments was during our sophomore year, the year of our sweet 16, when we could finally drive. The transition began from eating inside the school and on the lawn to the parking lot. <laughs> It started when the first one of our friends got a car. Needless to say, everybody piled in. 
We managed to pack 12 people in Michael's caddy and still close the doors. Six millimeters apart, of course. We drove around a bit. For legal purposes, that was a joke. It was all fun and games till someone had to pass the gas. <laughs> to say this past year was difficult is a massive understatement. We thought everything would be back to normal come our senior year. We were wrong, and frankly, society won't ever be the normal we were once used to. These unprecedented times ch changed our normal activities from homecoming to winter ball and sports. On our largest scale, it influenced almost every aspect of our lives. However, the loss of opportunity simply forces us to adapt and create new opportunities. Time and time again, I have learned the human spirit is unbreakable. We are able to overcome anything. And the class of 2021 exemplifies the very best of humanity. Stitching masks for the homeless, delivering groceries to high-risk individuals, and virtual performances to lift the spirits of Nevada veterans. All this and more was done by the Colinas class of 2021. Although this year was difficult, it brought out the finest aspects of our seniors. We felt sympathetic towards last year's seniors, for they lost everything. Well, almost everything. Everything except the spirit assemblies, because they're rigged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although this year the assemblies weren't rigged. Oh wait, we didn't have any. In honesty, spirit assemblies are a unique feature of high school, especially for our class. The assemblies were very meaningful to us. They brought out the competitive spirit which defines our class. As sophomores, we nearly won the spirit assembly against the seniors. Now wouldn't that have been a great achievement? Truth be told, the deeper purpose of spirit assemblies is appreciation for our school, for our classmates, and for our teachers. This year, we should be ever more thankful for everything. To all the doctors, nurses, grocery workers, truck drivers, and other frontline workers, to teachers and other educational staff, and most importantly to our parents and family for all their unending love and support. On behalf of the class of 2021, we thank you. Personally, I would like to take this special opportunity to thank my mom for everything she's done for you, me. Love you, mom. This was not the year we wanted, yet we still persevered through it. Through all the challenges, here we stand. I am amazed by everything the class of 2021 has accomplished. As I sat writing my speech, I pondered all the things I could say to my fellow peers. A witty joke, a funny quote, or simply inspiration. None of it really matters. It is one journey which inspires others to take the initiative. As Winnie the Pooh once said, I always get to where I'm going by walking away from where I've been. Thank you. I'm very pleased to introduce our Galena High School Orchestra performing Ina Klein Mac Music by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Performing this morning is Gabe Bonacato, Chris Howe, Adam Montgomery, Jenna Parker, Uriel Severiel, and Annabelle Wilson.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. You know, as I was sitting up here, running through my speech and thinking of all the things that could go horribly wrong while I was talking, I had a terrible thought. You know, it's so windy out here, my hat could very easily fly off my head, so bear with me. Luckily, I had a couple of my friends who were very kind and bobby pinned it into my hair, so that was an experience. Um, for those of you who don't know me or my trademark hair, um, my name is August Hart and I'm the valedictorian for the class of 2021. You know, it's amazing to think we ever made it this far. Freshman year to me, it feels like a dream. It's been a long four years. Graduating and leaving Galena now, when we've spent so much of our lives, it almost leaves you with a, well, what now? kind of feeling. So, what now? Well, let me tell you, class of 2021 has nothing to worry about. Suffice it to say, we've had a very unusual and difficult high school experience. We've skated through changes and hardships like it was no big deal when it was kind of a big deal. Um, and this brings me to the elephant in the room, our biggest hardship yet. Graduating after a year where we didn't win a single football game. <laughs> All jokes aside, the football team is one of the most inspirational groups of men I have ever met. Um, sorry about that. I only got the privilege to attend one football game this year, that being the senior night game. And despite a bit of bad luck in losing that game, let me tell you, the seniors were fighting until the very last second. We were down with minutes left on the clock, and with effort seeming pointless, our seniors laid their whole hearts out on this field. Our quarterback kept running the necessary yards, risking injury, even when, um, even when a first down seemed impossible, we made it possible. We have put in so much hard work, the seniors, on the football team, put in so much hard work through those four years, and it got them to the point where they were able to stop the opposing team and let us move forward. The football team wasn't the only one working hard that night, though. My friend Uriel was on the stands screaming encouragement at the top of his lungs until he could not go anymore. Two feet, or after the game, he was standing two feet away from me, and I couldn't hear a single word he said. He yelled so loud during that game. Um, the game may have ended in a loss, technically, but what does that matter when we have a class of students so hardworking who care so much about what they're doing? In the end of the game, the seniors were all in tears as they were remembering all those memories they've shared, all the hard work they've put in. The game became more than just a game. It was a reflection of just how perseverant our class is. I've had the privilege of growing up among some amazingly talented and brilliant individuals here at Kalina. We've had a hard and confusing couple of years, and the fact that we made it to graduation, that alone deserves high praise. But some students have taken that above and beyond all the wildest expectations. I feel overwhelmed and outmatched when I think about all the students, all the accomplishments that our class has done. Between, um, between participating in environmental, social, or political activism. My friend Neil Babu, working hand in hand with the Red Cross, or my other friend Kaylee Jenkins, the senior class president, almost single-handedly planning our entire senior year and all activities associated with it. Yeah. Our, class, yeah. our class has truly put in the work, and this can only spell out good things for the future. We've all grown here over our four years, both physically and mentally. It's been a long journey and it's been really hard, but we've had so many that have helped us along the way. I, for one, would like to thank all the teachers who've made learning fun and made it just a, li a little bit more bearable. Bearable, ah. get it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pope and Ms. Tillotson especially have been instrumental in making digital learning effective and manageable. It's been hard on us all, I know. Along those same lines, I'd like to thank Mr. Salter, our principal, for doing such a great job in facilitating the change to distance learning. You may not know much about what he's done, but he's always working behind the scenes, helping us out in any way that he can. I 
I'd like to thank my parents for caring for me and for supporting me while I got to go to high school and learn. It's a privilege I will never forget. I'd like to thank my, um, my friends and all those who were kind to me during high school. You know, it made high school so much more enjoyable. And last of all, I'd like to thank all of you, our whole senior class, for being such an inspiration and a beacon of hope for the future. Give it up. Class of 2021, we're going to do great things. We will do great things. I know it. We're hardworking, we're courageous, we're kind, we're devoted to what we do, and best of all, we're tough. If those aren't the secrets to success, then I don't know what would be. Seniors, look forward with hope and with light in your eyes because our future is bright. We're adults now, and it's time to reach those goals that we've had for so long. Good luck, class of 2021. And remember, it was good to be a person. today will resonate with you. This past year has been the most devastating yet empowering year for me. My life was put on hold while my mental health was kicked into overdrive as the universe needed me to confront the monsters living under my bed. I think this was the case for all of us. The time in isolation made us all take a step back and reevaluate, forcing us to think, who am I? What is my purpose? These questions still float in the back of my mind, but I am here to give you all a few answers on behalf of the class of 2021. We are here for days like today, where we embark on the next chapter that will hold as the foundation of our lives. We are here to make memories that we will share with our kids at the dinner table someday. We are here to be able to feel the gratitude that we are healthy and given another day to laugh, cry, or even scream. We are here to feel. If this year has taught me anything, it is that life is scary and unpredictable, but it is filled with so much good. I'd like to share some of my good moments here at Galena High. My good was walking into aerobics and hearing Mr. Edwards say how I needed to get some sun as I was blinding him. <laughs> my good was hearing Mrs. Amatia tell my best friend and I every single Friday during freshman year to throw our sodas away, but the funny part was that she only called them pop. <laughs> my good was looking at Miss Mendiola every time I turned in a math test and saying, I am so sorry you have to grade that. <laughs> Most importantly, my favorite memory was walking with Mrs. Friel during aerobics and talking about the mysteries of life. My ultimate good is my best friend, Hannah DeLillo. She was my best friend walking into high school and is now a forever part of my life as we walk out of high school together. My good is my father. I would not be the woman standing in front of you all had it not been for his guidance and love. Thinking back on my high school career, I wouldn't trade the memories I have for a normal senior year since the class of 2021 reinvented the term normal. I like to think we were given a sneak peek into the college lifestyle of having increased independence. Even if college isn't in your future, this year still taught us how to manage our time, keep track of our ever-changing schedule, and learn an increased sense of empathy, which are essential life skills beyond the walls of Galena High. Our senior year was unique and unpredictable, and that's exactly what will make it so memorable. Where's the fun in life without a little taste of the unknown? For the class of 2021, I hope you can all find the good and miss the bad, as life is worth all of the little things, whether it had been the stranger that smiled at you in the hallway or the day your class had a substitute teacher, it all adds up. We conquered this year, and now we shall conquer many more. As Mark DeVos said, some people see the glass half full, others see the glass half empty, and the enlightened are simply grateful to have a glass. Thank you. speaker before the presentation of the graduates to receive their diplomas, please welcome our principal, Mr. Salter. Good morning, everybody. I'd just like to take a very quick moment. As, as Ms. Jenkins pointed out earlier, this is the first time that we graduated a class on the football field at Galena High School. That did not come without its challenges. And I'd just like to send a really quick uh, thanks out and get some applause for Ms. Amanda Pippen, our Dean of Students. Yeah. 
Mrs. Dana Leslie, who's the administrative assistant. And Mrs. Silva Applebach. And a special thanks to the uh, the Galena Senior Graduation Committee from the PTO. None of this would have been possible without all of you doing what you do. So thank you very much. I'm really as tall as Gus. He just has the hair. So what a strangely unforgettable and definitively unique this year this has been for you. On the surface, it was a global pandemic and education via the internet, a time when living rooms, dining rooms, and bedrooms were converted to hybrid learning environments. Wildfires, yes, the wildfires were this year too. Wildfire school closures filled our days and nights with smoke and uncertainty. The absence of school, cultural, and athletic events, social distancing, both six foot and three foot, remember that switch, uh, separating us. And yes, the masks, a melange of multi-chromatic bandanas. The neck gaiter slash buff that you found somewhere amongst the things that you would never wear given normal circumstances. But now you have no other choice. And yes, even the Chanel and Louis Vuitton embodiment of the Fashionista mask. Those masks changed us. We had to refocus on how to read the smile in people's eyes. Many of you commented that I was walking up and down the, the line up top. It's the first time that many of us have seen each other smile. And we were all smiling today. Because beneath the Cheshire grin of cat face masks, there were the obstacles that no one could quite see or could even anticipate. It became an entirely new world with weird new concepts, rules, and expectations, a new vision of the way things are going to be. The amazing thing is that you found a way for people to see something new in you, a new vision for the world, expressed in a completely revolutionary way. An Oglala Lakota medicine man, Nicholas Black Elk, once said, it's not enough to have a vision. In order to have its power, you must enact your vision on earth for all to see. Only then do you have the power. So amidst turbulent political discourse and evolving social paradigms wedged between video-based classes and online tutorials during a time of hybrid and remote learning, you and your classmates pushed for a better future for your community. Some of your classmates circulated petitions on education practices and went on the local news to be a champion for a new way of doing things. Two of them are on the stage right now and one's out here in the crowd. Maybe you were one of the students who joined a remote class from your phone on the chairlift at Mount Rose. Yeah! <laughs> With your camera off, of course, just to show what could be done. Or maybe you were one of those who engaged in peaceful demonstrations for social justice. You may have ventured into online learning opportunities, may have found different ways to meet, communicate with your friends, but you remained in the here and now, experiencing, commenting, and shaping your new vision of the world. On this day of your, of your graduation, take this opportunity to enact your vision. Take the power, make the world what you want it to be. Because every meeting I held with your elected officers or discussion in the hallways or on Zoom, demonstrated initiative and ingenuity. You gave humor and connectivity to all our students with Good Morning Grizzlies. On one occasion, I heard one of your classmates addressing a group of educators from around the state of Nevada with the question, do you want me to talk about my diploma or do you want me to talk about what I really learned in high school? That single profound statement blurred years of society's views on what we should teach and why we should teach it. So as a last thought, upon your last hour here at Galena, I issue, the, issue you this challenge. Go forward, enact your vision for your city and your state. Use what power you've earned to refocus our country and our planet. Embrace the strange and unique. Make the time that you are alive unforgettable and definitively yours. With that being said, the coolest part of being a principal is this next paragraph. Superintendent McNeil and members of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to present to you the Galena High School Class of 2021. These students have fulfilled all of the provisions 
and many more. Required by the Washoe County School District's board policies and administrative code and the Nevada revised statutes. This accomplishment allows them to participate in this graduation ceremony. Seniors, please prepare to come forward for your individual recognition. Jack, how? 
Annabelle Grace Wilson. Jenna Marie Parker. Evan Rowan Aktabowski. Jacob Dylan Adams. Sean Campbell Adams. Dylan Matthew Adunnel. Simon Javier Aguilar. Kimberly Aguilar Rodriguez. Jesus Eduardo Aguilar Villa. Lindsay Jane Aker. Avery Lee Albright. Christopher Anderson. Juana Maria Ariza Esparza. Anthony Ariza Gonzalez. Daniel Rigoberto Armandarez Hernandez. <laughs> Olivia Sky Armstrong. <laughs> Gabrielle Kelly Asif. <laughs> Zoe Evelyn Atherton. Jesus Avila Gomez. Andrew Bennett Bain. Brianna Barcenas Mercado. Angus Buchanan Barkley. Roberto Barrera Cabrera. Kevin Alexander Baron Lugo. Lillian Marie Bartholomew. Alexandra Cora Batcher. Angela Joy Baylon Nesson. Woo! 
Cameron, Audison, Becker. Liam, Frederick, Becker. Julia Ben Hurano. Liana Elise Bell.
Josefina Estacy Chavez. Jack Tyler Cherry. <laughs> Ashley Ann Combs. Yeah. 
Vanessa Rosemary Escobar. Jasmine Esmeralda Escobar. Jordan Matthew Flat. 